you know what I mean? It's funny you use that terminology because that's exactly what I wrote down. The overarching theme today uh, was that this is not just a Ukrainian fight, but this is a fight for all democracies. That was something that Joe Biden and Vladimir Zelensky said in their press conference that just wrapped up a short while ago. Zelensky said that Putin hasn't won any victories and it is, quote, thanks to Ukrainian success that other European countries are safe. He thanked Joe Biden for the US-supplied air defense systems. Uh, he said that who controls the skies controls the war's duration. He also spoke to something that we saw on Monday when he spoke to uh, various defense companies here in the United States, and that is uh, the Ukraine trying to expand its own domestic production of munitions. Uh, in some ways, trying to become almost the master of their own destiny. Biden, for his part, uh, said that he was refusing to step away from Ukraine. He said that if we don't stop Putin, aggressors everywhere will be emboldened. But time now is running out. Here in the United States, there is a supplemental funding package uh, that is going to give $60 billion to Ukraine. That has been held up uh, in Congress, and it is there earlier in the day that Zelensky tried to uh, persuade members of the House and also senators to give their vote to that supplemental funding package. Uh, it, to be honest, he said that the talks were very uh, productive. That's what the words what uh, uh, Zelensky said. But so far, it seems that it hasn't really moved the needle, and Republicans and Democrats Democrats on Capitol Hill still at loggerheads. And Fraser, you mentioned uh, having uh, to be the masters of their own destiny, uh, Ukraine, especially uh, with the winter coming and uh, possibly with Congress unable to uh, find an agreement and a consensus. Uh, how realistic is it, given today's meetings, that uh, uh, something will come over the line and that package will be delivered? Well, Congress has a proclivity for passing things at the last minute. We've seen that with multiple almost government shutdowns here in the United States. Uh, but this really is getting down to the bone now. The uh, Congress is going on recess on Thursday and also on Friday, the House and Senate on different days, and it must be passed by then because the money that, that is left is about, a, well, less than a billion dollars now. We saw another 200 million given to Ukraine today in economic and uh, security assistance. That means that that pot is shrinking ever smaller and it will last just a few more weeks. Whether the Republicans and the uh, Democrats can get on the same page remains to be seen. Republicans want big concessions on the southern border. That's what they're pushing for. They want harder security measures. And Joe Biden himself said that the immigration system here in the United States is broken, but that there needs to be some kind of compromise. And that Democrats need to come to the table with Republicans, and Republicans can't just have everything that they want their own way. That's what effectively the White House messaging is. What the, the White House behind me is saying to Republicans, what they're offering, we don't know. They're having those negotiations behind closed doors. They've given no, um, no uh, information to the press on what those negotiations involve. So we'll have to wait and see whether Republicans go for it. But as I said, time really is running out.